Thank you very much for having me for this presentation. It's 10 minutes, so it's fairly short, uh, but I hope to give you a quick overview of, of how you can actually uh, leverage large uh, language models to extract valuable information uh, from, from your data. Um, I think we are all uh, familiar that uh, with the notion that deep learning, language models, computer vision are one of the technology that will be widely uh, used in, in business uh, going forward. As you know, some people think that machine learning, AI, deep learning is more important than the web was and will have a bigger uh, impact on transformation uh, than the web uh, did. Now, deep learning is one thing, machine learning uh, is another one. Uh, the challenge with deep learning is that a lot of uh, our data is actually uh, unstructured. <clears throat> I think the structured data lends itself very well for machine learning, uh, but when, once it comes to deep learning, it's really all about extracting insight and information from that unstructured data. Let me just start with one example that I think most of us are familiar with, uh, the contact center uh, example, where obviously everything is pretty much unstructured data. So there's voice, there is chat, uh, there might be emails, uh, there might be nowadays other forms of communication. Uh, I think all of us have been uh, in a situation where we logged in into a vendor site uh, where we have an account, uh, we have a question, and then the little chat uh, window opens uh, on the right bottom, uh, and we try to get an answer to the question we have, only to have to re-authenticate ourselves, first step that is really annoying. Second of all, after we tell them what the question is, we don't get an answer, but they refer us to somebody in a call center. So we end up calling them anyway. Um, this obviously are, is one example uh, of how deep learning can help with, with, with solving that problem and actually addressing my, uh, my questions directly. Now, why is that? Now, obviously, today you have multitude of channels. You, you call a call center, you have chats, you have chat box, you might have messages, uh, you might have email, you might have a Facebook page where you interact with your customer, but you have tons of different channels that you want to want to interact with your customer. But the challenge with that is also that you can't aggregate all that information uh, and that companies use different models for different channels that are distinct. So they might use a language model for voice, which actually translates the voice into, into text, for example, and analyzes the text. They might use a model to analyze the tonality of your voice, uh, to identify if you're happy, if you're not happy, and, and accordingly address uh, that mood. So companies are using many, many different uh, models, which really makes it hard to uh, to have a consistent experience uh, across uh, these channels. And that's really where the language, the big language models or the large language models come in. And when we think of large language models, that's language models that can have, you know, up to a couple of hundred billion parameters uh, that are being used for, for executing the tasks. Uh, Google announced a model with over a trillion parameters uh, back a month or two ago. So these models are getting more and more, bigger and bigger. Uh, they get more and more uh, precise and exact to really address uh, the, the, the need of, of the customers and the companies. Um, what they can do is they can do multiple tasks at simultaneously. So you don't have to have these multiple models uh, like the example prior, uh, but you can have this one model that helps you uh, with the analysis of your unstructured data. You know, as capabilities evolve and as needs evolve, you can adjust the, the, the model um, and address these new tasks that might, uh, might, be, uh, might come up. Also, you can use the models to actually generate uh, insights uh, from the data. So, you know, writing a sentence, I mean, some of you might have seen the poems that are written by, by uh, machines or, or news articles that have been uh, compiled by, by deep learning uh, models uh, where really there have not been involvement of, of people in that context. 
And so how that will looks like is that now suddenly you have one model that allows you to execute all those tasks against all those various channels, uh, which means that you actually have a much, much higher uh, precise understanding of your customer. You can much better address the need of your customer. Uh, so back to the example at the beginning, uh, if I'm already logged into the website and now go to chatbot, it should be able to relate to the fact that I'm already logged in and I'm already authenticated uh, and that I might have a, a question about an order that I just submitted. Uh, so how, like some of the airlines do today when you call them and they ask you, are you calling about this flight without you actually having talked to a person yet? So these large language models allow you to, to execute multiple tasks simultaneously uh, and again, make it much more effective and efficient to, to serve your customers. Now, the challenge with that is that these language models, uh, as you can imagine, are very big, uh, require a lot of resources, uh, require uh, data scientists uh, to actually help with, with, with uh, deploying these models, applying uh, to businesses. Now, so you obviously have to build the hardware infrastructure or, or the cloud vendors. You, you have to have your data scientists and data engineers internally. You have to adopt to the processes that you might have internally. You make sure that any results you generate get to the right place at the same time, at the right time, sorry. Um, so what we actually do is we help organization uh, shorten that, that time span by providing the models as a service. So at the highest level, what, what, how we work is we get your data, we train our models based on your data. So we have foundational models that are pre-trained uh, on standard data. Uh, we even have models that are already trained, pre-trained on specific industries. And then on top of that, we use the data of the customers to train and refine the models. We then run the inference uh, through those models and provide uh, the customer with the outcome from that models. And that can be done in, in weeks instead of uh, months or years. Uh, and so customers actually get, uh, don't have to deal with the complexity uh, of, uh, of these models, but can really get to results uh, quickly. Just to summarize, um, as I said, uh, we have ready to go uh, pre-trained models uh, that can be customized for each of the customers. Uh, we can help with the fine tuning. We can do some of the pre-training. Uh, we you know, simplify the management of the models uh, depending on, on the volume obviously you have. Uh, and we really help organization build AI into their processes and really drive uh, innovation for them. Now we heard a number of talks today and, and, and a lot of the talks were talking about data and how data was critical in, in making these models more successful. And that's where really our partnership with, with Snorkel comes in to help us and our customer make sure that the data is properly labeled, is properly annotated so that we can effectively and quickly uh, leverage the data from the customer in our models and provide them with value uh, in a short amount of time. 